Hey guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're looking at a rust base design which goes from a starter to a main base. This base can be used for solos or trios and contains features such as loot spreading and a double bunker. Just before we start, around 84% of you watching aren't subscribed. If you do enjoy the content don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to catch all of my future content. I do also have a discord channel which will be linked below. Now let's get into the video. A few of you guys have been stating that some of my bases use the same foundation plan and therefore are similar. With the current restrictions to building in Rust, there are a limited number of foundation plans you can do. So being a base builder, the next best thing to do is to use current foundation plans and change the layout of the base to create something similar, yet a bit different. Until Facebunch consider making a change to building in Rust, you're going to see many but Rust building YouTubers use the same footprints as one another across many bases. Just before the tour, these are all of the items inside the base. We have two sleeping bags, four furnaces and two campfires. We then have your tier 2 workbench, your tool cupboard and your tier 3 workbench, as well as a shelf. 11 small boxes, 6 shotgun traps and then 12 large boxes. All of this fits within the space of the footprint shown here, with the loot room shown in stone and in metal. Heading over to the base here you can see that the entrance is on the top. This means that you need a route up. You can do this in a number of ways, but I'd recommend using one of the two methods I show here in Twig. A staircase up to the top with a door is the safer option, but you can also use a roof piece as a jump up as a quicker way. Once on the top of the base, we have all this open space which you can expand into another floor or into a shooting floor very easily. Heading into the base here, we have a turret to protect against raiders and door campers, but you can put some drop boxes here if you prefer. To progress further into the base you need to go via this door which is clearly blocked by the metal roof piece and protected with shotgun traps. This is the first bunker entrance. To remove the bunker simply knock out the twig floor here supporting it and you can get in and out of your base as normal. Jumping back down the entrance chute here we then have your first loot area. Two loot rooms, one holding four large boxes and four small boxes with three large boxes, three small boxes and a repair bench on the other side. We also have an undrainable shotgun trap here which makes it difficult for raiders to progress past this point without fully draining the shotgun trap of ammo. To gain access to the next bunker we need to be within the starter area of your base, then simply remove the twig wall like this. Within this area we have your starter section as well as another loot room. The starter section contains your tier 2 workbench, one furnace, one bag, three small boxes and your tier 3 workbench which hides the TC behind it. This makes the TC both unlootable and adds a cost of 333 explosive ammo to this. We then have seven large boxes, one furnace, one small box and a campfire on the other side for storage with some traps to catch people out. To seal the bunker up, simply place a twig wall here with a metal floor piece on top. Then jump up to here, place a twig floor and then add a metal roof piece to the top. This will seal both bunkers. The footprint of the base is simple, beginning with a square and a triangle for your starter base before expanding out to add a loot room. Then again to add two loot rooms and the bunker and finally adding the honeycomb. To break down the raid cost, this is the cost to raid direct to the TC and this is the cost for all of the loot. This base is going to cost 7.5k metal, 4.8k wood and 17.2k stone with an upkeep cost of 1.8k metal, 9 wood and 3k stone. A more detailed costing can be found in the comments to include deployables. <laughs> 